Brought to you by GTA. We start with you. Senator James Moylan is the latest lawmaker to come forward with concerns about more than $28 million in emergency and sole source procurement last year. We're talking about a, um, an annual report that's for sole source procurement and emergency procurement process that we saw questionable. Questionable purchases such as a $9,000 boat-shaped conference table, which GSA Chief Procurement Officer Claudia Ekfaji now says that purchase order was terminated, and instead the money was used by the Department of Labor to procure tables to stand up the PUA program. The PUA had to start from ground zero, so we ordered like 34 desks, and, you know, to uh, facilitate this PUA program. So it wasn't like 35000 for one boat-shaped desk. It was a consolidated a consolidation of other uh, furniture and not just one. It's this lack of specifics that Senator Moylan's Bill 90 calls for. When that report was submitted, the description line gets cut off. It's not the entire report. According to Bill 90, the report shall contain each contractor's name, the amount and type of each contract, the listing of supplies, services or construction procured under each contract, and a summary justifying how the procurement transaction was determined to be a sole source procurement and or emergency procurement. The bill would also mandate that instead of GSA submitting an annual report, it should be turned in every month. It's not a problem. We can print out those reports and get it even if they want it weekly. We're ready. According to Senator Moylan's bill, with more than $660 million in federal money heading to Guam, the monthly reports would be a more efficient way of tracking sole source and emergency procurement expenditures and also promotes a greater level of transparency in requiring justification summaries so the public knows how these monies are being spent. Because they all want to know what the heck's going on with all this money. <laughs> and that that's what we'll be focused on. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Sabrina Salas, Matanoni.